Hey guys, it's Jacob with Tandy Lab. Today we are taking a first look at this souped up Tandy 1000 TL3. The Tandy 1000 TL3 was released in 1990 at an MSRP of $1099 or $1599 with hard drive and monitor. The system we purchased came with a suite of software including Lotus, Spreadsheet, Quicken, and Deskmate Q&A. However, the 1991 uh, computer catalog only shows it including DOS 3.3, Deskmate, and a spell checker in ROM. While the Tandy 1000 TL3 was more of a budget model in the home office market, it was a pretty good platform for some upgrades. In fact, the Tandy 1000 TL3 was actually marketed by Tandy as having good upgrade potential. Our system was purchased on eBay for $400 from a seller who really knew his stuff. He included all the original manuals and discs and packed the entire thing incredibly well. This Tandy 1000 TO3 is a perfect example of what a great design success Tandy had created. It was a budget system, but this one is still alive and kicking today because first of all, its prior owner knew how to upgrade and care for it. Second of all, modern builders have discovered a small market in products to help users keep older systems running. Curious about how it's done? Here's what's inside the case. Our system still has the stock CPU running at 10 megahertz. The stock TL3 came with 640K or 768K of RAM. This one has a low-tech RAM board installed in one of the four expansion slots, which amounts to a two megabyte RAM expansion as it's configured. This system, along with the stock TL3, offered support for MDA, Hercules, CGA, and Tandy enhanced graphics. A 3.5 inch 720K floppy disk drive came standard with an option to add a 1.44 megabyte 3.5 inch drive. By 1990, you could also get a five and a quarter inch floppy drive that supported a double sided 1.2 megabyte format. This system was upgraded with a GoTech USB floppy disk emulator. It also has a Chains XT IDE CF Optima, which is an IDE controller containing an external compact flash card slot. The card in the CF Optima contains MS-DOS 6.2, networking software, and a ton of games. One thing the stock Tandy 1000 TL3 did not have was networking. Our system is equipped with a 3Com Etherlink 3 network adapter card. No need for upgrades in the external I.O. department. By 1990, most external connector types had been somewhat standardized, and the Tandy 1000 TL3 had them all covered. If the stock one didn't, our upgraded system definitely does, as you can see just by looking at the exterior. On the front of our system, you can see the power button, audio jacks, volume knob, floppy drive, and USB floppy emulator. On the back, you can see the AC power connector, keyboard connector for a standard 101 key keyboard, mouse port, bi-directional parallel port, and RS-232C serial port. Two of the external expansion slots are in use. One contains the external CF card reader on the chain CF Optima, and the other holds the RJ45 connector on the 3Com Ethernet adapter. The condition of this machine is very average. It has a couple scratches, but nothing serious. If you guys liked this video, please be sure to check out our other First Look videos. We have over 50 Tandy computers in our collection and tons of other cool computers from IBM and Apple and a whole bunch of others. Uh, you should click the playlist on screen so you can keep watching some awesome first look videos. And I'll see you next time.